On May 26, 2012, Russia test launched their RS-26 Rubezh nuclear missile, successfully hitting the target. According to online information, it was launched from Plesetsk Cosmodrome, right here, and hit the target 5,800 kilometers away, approximately 15 minutes later, right here at the Kura range. This missile has a range of 2,000 kilometers to 5,800 kilometers, so this test was successful at its maximum distance, which is 3,600 miles. It has a maximum speed of Mach 20, that is 24,500 kilometers per hour, which is 6.81 kilometers per second. That's also 15,200 miles per hour, or 4.2 miles per second. In 10 seconds, it will travel 68 kilometers, which is 42 miles. It stands at 12 meters, which is about 40 feet tall. It has a diameter of 1.8 meters, which is 5 feet 9 inches. It can be launched from a silo or a mobile vehicle like this. It is a solid fuel intermediate range ballistic missile equipped with a thermonuclear payload. At its maximum distance of 5,800 kilometers, it will strike within 90 meters to 250 meters of the target. That's 300 feet to 800 feet from having a direct hit at its target after traveling 5,800 kilometers or 3,600 miles. For a thermonuclear weapon, that is basically a direct hit. As long as there is no malfunction with the missile, it will strike whatever it is aimed at. In the nose cone, there are four thermonuclear warheads with a blast yield of 150 kilotons to 300 kilotons, depending on how strong they want the blast to be. These warheads are referred to as MIRV or MIRVs, which means Multiple Independently Targetable Reentry Vehicle. Each warhead can be programmed to hit a specific target. For comparison, Little Boy, the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan on August 6, 1945, had a blast yield of 15 kilotons. Each warhead in the RS Rubege is 10 to 20 times more powerful than the Little Boy atomic bomb. With four warheads, that makes the missile 40 to 80 times more powerful than Little Boy. It is said that the purpose of these missiles is to detour Western forces from coming to the aid of newer NATO members that are located close to Russia's borders. On November 17, 2024, U.S. President Joe Biden approved the use of U.S. long-range missiles to be fired into Russia by Ukraine. Russia responded with a video explaining what nations in Europe the RS Rubej could impact. Несложно предположить географию ответа в случае, если короткий пресс-релиз Белого дома станет реальностью. Под угрозой без малого всей европейские столицы, если наши ракеты встанут в Калининграде. Берлин, Варшава, все Прибалты, Париж, Бухарест, Прага. Конечно, американские базы в Германии. Гармии, Шпартин, Кирхен, Казармы, Патча, Шпангдалем, Рамштайн. Особое внимание Британии, нашему традиционному врагу, так как против нее будет работать значительная часть Северного флота. Под удар Вашингтон ставит не только Лондон, но и Манчестер, Бирмингем, крупнейшую военно-морскую базу Девонпорт, Клайд в Шотландии, где король хранит ядерные ракеты Трайдент, порт смуты Чатамскую верфь в графстве Кент. Британия в самом уязвимом положении. В принципе, достаточно трех ракет, и эта цивилизация рухнет. With its range abilities and Mach 20 speed capability, this weapon can be fired from as far away as Siberia and accurately strike targets in Europe approximately 10 to 15 minutes later. A missile being fired from Plesetsk Cosmodrome would make it to its target in a matter of five minutes or less, and because of its tremendous speed, intercepting it would be virtually impossible. If it was being fired from a silo, there is the possibility of a preemptive strike on the silo. However, the missile's mobile capability makes it nearly impossible to locate before it is fired. If one of them was located and destroyed, there are plenty of others hiding that are well within range of potential targets. Here on Nuke Maps, we can go to Hiroshima and demonstrate the size of the Little Boy atomic bomb compared to a single warhead on the RS-26 Rubej up here at Preset. I'll go down to Hiroshima, Japan. And then I'm going to put in here 15 kilotons because that's how big the atomic bomb was that was dropped here on Hiroshima. 
and then I'm going to detonate it. And there you can see the blast pattern that a 15 kiloton bomb makes over Hiroshima, Japan. So now I'm going to change it to 150 kilotons, which is equivalent to a single warhead inside the RS-26 Roubaix. And then I'm going to detonate it and watch it change. You can see this here is the little boy. And a 150 kiloton warhead would do this to Hiroshima. Pretty much annihilate the entire city. And keep in mind that one missile has four of these warheads in there. So try to imagine four of these blast patterns spread out over an area like this. It would destroy everything around it. So if we were to take the Hiroshima bomb, and let's go to London, England. You can see, zooming out, you can see what kind of damage a 15 kiloton bomb would do to London right here. It would do damage, but would not totally destroy the city. I'm going to change this to 150 kilograms. Detonate. Watch it change. Destroys a much larger part of the city. Now I'm going to bump it up to 300 kilotons because each warhead in the missile is capable of being as strong as 300 kilotons. Let's detonate that over London. And you can see right here, it makes a much bigger blast, and that's just one warhead. Four warheads in this area of this size would completely erase the city of London. So now I'm going to go to Paris, France, and I'm going to drop the 15 kiloton little boy bomb in the middle of the city. You can see here, it does significant damage, but compared to the 150 kiloton warhead, detonate that, you can see the damage is much larger. That means four of those warheads at 150 kilotons each would completely destroy Paris, France. Now let's bump it up to 300. Detonate it. Even bigger. It looks like a single 300 kiloton warhead from that missile is enough to destroy Paris, France alone. So imagine what four of them would do to this area. I can slide this right over the top of Paris here. And you can see that it pretty much destroys the entire city. Four of these blast patterns would not only destroy the city of Paris, but it would destroy everything around it. Now I'm going to do the same thing to Berlin, Germany. 15 kilotons, little boy atomic bomb right in the middle of Berlin would do this. That is significant damage. If we make it 10 times stronger, 150 kilotons. One single 150 kiloton warhead from that missile completely destroys Berlin, Germany. 300 kilotons will do this. Four of these 300 kiloton warheads would destroy Berlin and all of its surroundings. So if we go exploring Europe, like Bucharest, Romania, drag this over the city of Bucharest. Put it right in the center. Then detonate the little boy atomic bomb. This is what it does. 15 kilotons pretty much destroys a good portion of the city. 150 kilotons up here will do this much damage to Bucharest, Romania. It almost wipes out the entire city. 450 kiloton nuclear warheads would completely destroy this entire area. If we bump it up to 300 kilotons per warhead, let's see what happens with just one of them. A single 300 kiloton warhead appears to completely destroy the entire city of Bucharest, Romania. Four of those would make this entire area completely disappear. If we drag the icon over to Kiev, 
zoom in. Not a very big city, 15 kilotons. Does serious damage to Kiev, 150 kilotons. Erases most of the city, 300 kilotons. Annihilates the city, and that is a single 300 kiloton warhead. All four would pretty much vaporize this entire area. If the missiles were launched from Plesetsk Cosmodrome, their maximum reach would look something like this. This yellow boundary goes out 5,800 kilometers from the launch site, which is 3,600 miles. So there you have it, a brief explanation of the Russian RS-26 Rubej thermonuclear missile right here on the Forrest Haggerty Channel.